Good morning, children. Today we will look into our lesson number nine, which is talking about looping statements. So, before going to looping, what do you mean by loop? Loop means you take a a thread. Okay, you can take a piece of thread. Say I show you a piece of wire. You can take this as a charger. Okay, cable or whatever. See, this is a starting point. Okay. and I, this should be the ending point and the cable is like this now if i join the starting and ending point together okay so what is happening this will be forming a loop loop means i am going to join the starting and the ending point together okay so looping means we are going to repeat and i can keep on repeating the same path for how many times i want so that will become a looping loop is one closed path and looping means i am going to use that closed path for many of my activities and many times okay so looping means i am going to repeat the execution of certain statements for some time for this many number of times okay say if you are telling your tables say seven tables I ask you to say seven tables. You are telling seven ones are seven, seven twos are forty. In the middle, in seven six are forty two. Instead of telling forty two, you happen to say forty four. Then what I say? Stop. Start from first because you are telling the tables wrong. So you are going to repeatedly tell the tables until you are going to get all the ten tables correct. Similar way, we are going to see another example like our PT sir. Just in the morning drill, okay. In the morning session, before warm up, I mean before playing, he is giving you a warm up exercise. He is asking us to go three times, four times a round in our ground. So first, you should know which is the starting point for the round and what will be the ending point. If the starting point means it should end there only. So and then you should be counting how many rounds you are going. Okay, the moment you complete the first round, you should count it as one. Then you should go on like that until how many rounds our sir has told us to complete. Likewise, certain logics, okay, for our uh, computation, for our calculation, have to be repeated. So those repetitions can be put inside some state uh, looping concepts. Okay, so the first. thing is here look at this example so say i am going to print god bless you okay god bless you i am going to print a dollar a dollar means it is going to hold this string values so string means this is full of words it has no numbers at all so string so god bless you print a dollar that means it will print what is there then let b dollar is equal to god is great then it will say print b dollar now i am saying the fifth one of line as go to 20 that means it will go back to print a dollar then again it will come to print b dollar then again it will go to go to. so this is an indefinite time indefinite it will be keep on going and going it will not stop it will not stop that is what they have written the output will be printed infinite times infinite means you cannot count how many times Okay, now in this case, okay, let a equal to one. That is, I am going to put a as one. Now let x dollar be thank you. I am going to print x dollar. Now this a I am going to add. That is increment. Increment means I am going to just add. That is what I write. Incrementing the counter. And then if a is less than or equal to ten, then go to thirty. That is. Only if it is less than or equal to ten, you should print thank you. Okay, so it will be only printing ten times. It will only print ten times thank you. Not like in this case where it will be repeatedly, infinitely printing. God bless you. God is great. God bless you. God is great. Here thank you will be printed only ten times. So this is where we are going to use the for next loop. In the for next loop, we are going to take two things into consideration. first thing is you have to start that is you have to take the initialization point which point i am going to start okay then the next point is i have to stop at some point okay that is 
till 10 so i have to stop when the counter becomes 10 so that is my end point now in between i have to also check what should be my counter okay counter addition that is increment counter how i am going to increment either by 1 or by 2 or by 3 this is all we are going to decide in our for next loop look at the syntax the syntax is line number for the control variable the control variable is our counter variable here like a equal to 1 is our control variable likewise we have to have a control variable then the initial value and the final value starting from where ending where and what all the statements I should be doing and the next the next is a keyword for is also a keyword for is also a keyword next is also a keyword so keywords you should not change it should be always written in capital letters okay see I am going to see calculate the sum of 10 numbers this is the rem command rem command is nothing but to give a title for our program title means like what is your name if I ask what is your name you will say your name likewise this will tell what this program is going to do so rem is nothing but the title then clear the screen and then sum equal to 0 so I am going to initialize my counter variable sum as 0 now for i equal to 1 to 10 that is initial value is 1 final value is equal to 10 ok my control variable is i I am going to input n I am going to get the value and then sum equal to sum plus n sum is equal to sum plus n next i I am going to keep on incrementing incrementing i next i from 1 to 10 then print the sum you will get the end in the program will be ending so what will be happening the control value will be jumping from 1 2 3 till 10 the moment it reaches 10 it will stop so till that it will be adding ok so the control variable is assigned ok then the difference between the final and the initial value will give the number of times the loop will be executed ok then the set of statements between the for and next statement is executed so for between the for and the next ok between the for and next how many statements are there two statements these two statements will be executed the next statement will increment the value of i it will increment here here we explicitly incremented that is I wantedly put a plus 1 ok that means it should be incremented by 1 here I did not write that because the word next keyword itself will do that increment process ok the new value of the control variable will be compared this new variable will be compared again ok you can understand with the flow chart so when I start I put sum also 0 initial i equal to 1 then I get the input from the user then I add that n with sum ok now i equal to i plus 1 and if i equal to 10 you can print the sum otherwise you have to go and get the value ok so that is what this total for next statement will do ok so in the program mode ok this will we will check it in our one mark section ok then we will be going to the tables also we can print tables using this for statements you should know this program thoroughly that is I am going to say for a equal to 1 to 5 print 12 star a that is 12 into a a will be starting from 1 then it will go to 2 3 4 5 the next a it will keep on incrementing and then the end so your output will be like this now this is another example ok for our multiple address like we have 10 people in our class and I have to get the name address from each of your people so I can put that in the program ok this program I will take it in the next class now going to the for next with step that is I want a step I don't want step by step directly I want to jump two steps 
three steps so i will get a step also i can give the keyword step and how many steps it has to jump i can give see 1 3 5 7 9 that is i am going to print the odd numbers less than 10 or the first five odd numbers so i will say step i have to jump by 2 from 1 so i will be giving like this now it can be even the step can be in the negative value also negative means reduced like 25 20 15 10 5 okay so this is a step how many jump how many jumps you have to do okay here they are done by decreasing it by 5 okay now we are going to see the nested for next nested means one for next is within the other for next nest means what we can see the bird's nest how will it be like there will be one outer layer and there will be one inner layer and there will be another inner layer then something like a layers similar way the outer for next will be there and there will be an inner for next so this is called nested for next okay so using of one for next within an another for next is called nested for next there's they have given an example that is from 1 to 10 i am going to write 1 to 20 so 10 times i'll be writing 1 to 10 likewise okay uh, that is what i have given this is the flow chart that much you should know okay now coming to the while and when state while when while means there is a condition this condition is checked if the condition is true the statements will be taken into consideration okay if the condition is not true you will not go inside the statement at all this is equal to our if condition if statements only but we are going to check the condition at the initial stage itself that is when while x is less than 25 i am going to print x when x is less than 25 here my x is equal to 20 and then it will be less than 25 so it is printing 20 then here i am going to increment x with 1 so x plus 1 it will become 21 then again x plus 1, 21 plus 1, 22. Then 22 plus 1, 23. 23 plus 1, 24. Now I am asked check less than 25 only. If it is the moment it becomes 25. When x is going to become 25. It will come out of the loop. Okay. The current, that is what they have given an explanation. They are taking the value of x as 20 in the initial condition. And if it is true. Then the value of x is displayed. Okay, then x will be incremented, it will be repeated. But when it is becoming 25, the condition will come out. Okay, then do until. Here, we are going to do the loop, okay, repeatedly. When uh, it remains false or true. Okay, do until this condition. Do these statements until this condition. That is what the meaning is. English meaning is you have to do certain thing until the condition is used. Okay. Okay. See, do until x is greater than 25. So, till x is greater than 25, you have to print. Here, in this while, we check the condition till less than 25. Here, we are going to check greater than 25. The moment it reaches 25, it will stop. Okay. So, that is what they have explained. You are starting the value with 20. Then you are going to display. 20, 21, 20. Keep on incrementing and you are display. Okay. The loop statement shifts the control back to the do until. This loop word. This loop word will shift to do until. So, this will be shifting to this place only. To be repeating the process. And this is a do while. Do while so what is happening do loop while okay here the condition is checked at the last we are not checking the condition at the first like do until or while when here we are going to check the condition only after repeating all the statements only after repeating all the statements like here see do print x so x is be 20 x equal to x plus 1 
loop while x is greater than 25. Now 20 plus 1, 21. 21 is not greater than 25. So you will be only printing 20. Okay. So this program will check the condition only at the end. Okay. It will only check the condition only at the end of the loop. Okay. So this is what we have seen. So what are we seeing here? First is our if. If one condition is there, do. Else do another condition. Then for next. For next is for this condition you have to repeat certain set of statements. Then we come across for next with step. The step is not incrementing one by one. The step can be jumping 2, 2 or 3, 3 or it can be even reduced by 5 whichever number you want. Then nested for next. That is within one for next you will be having another for next. Then we saw while and when. While one condition you have to do some statements. Same thing is for do until. Do until also you have to do until this statement is or do until the condition is met. Similarly do while. Do while means you will be doing the things and finally you will be checking the condition. So this is a do while condition. Ok children go through all these examples look at the syntax carefully you should be knowing all the syntax for your exams. Ok so learn thoroughly if you have any doubts message in the whatsapp group. Thank you.